A lot of commentators this year are predicting a house price crash and it's going to have major impacts for the UK economy. But could there be good news for some people? For several years we've seen double digit growth in house prices uh, but now a lot of commentators are saying that we are not going to see that anymore and we might expect some falls as well in the year to come. So exactly what the falls will be remains to be seen but we've seen some commentators predict 10% and some far more. So we could see house prices come down quite a lot from the level that they're at today. Obviously some of the stories we're hearing about mortgage holders at the moment are really difficult. We're hearing about people who are wondering if they can afford to stay in their home and that's, that's quite upsetting to hear. I think what we've seen from a lot of renters is they're sort of seeing the, the policy response to this and they're seeing sort of the reports on this as well and they're thinking, you know, for years I've actually experienced this each year. My landlord's maybe put up my rent by quite a high percent and I don't feel there's been the sort of sympathy in the same way. I think when we see house prices going down, some people perceive that negatively, but then there will be many renters, people who don't own homes, who think we've seen this massive house price increases in the past few years. When will it stop? And they're starting to see them go down now and they might be thinking, this is good news, is this the, is this the chance for me to get on, on the housing ladder? And to a degree that, that might be correct, obviously prices are going down so it means it's cheaper to buy a home but we've got to consider the context in which this is happening. So obviously the reason that house prices are going down is mainly that it's getting more expensive to borrow on a mortgage and one of the reasons that we're seeing house price falls or we expect them to see them is that borrowing for these mortgages is becoming more expensive and so we've got to consider that when someone comes to borrow, they're going to pay a higher interest rate now, which means that they'll probably have to pay more each month to buy the home that they want to. So the house price falls could be negated in a way. Widely speaking, I think looking at the country and what people are paying is, is important. So I think generally we're in a cost of living crisis, things are quite expensive broadly and that means that there's more difficulties in terms of saving. So it's difficult to put money aside each month and that money might be the money that you would use to, to buy a home. I think also if you're a renter right now, you might be looking at your rental payments and your landlord's mortgage might be going up and they might be looking to pass that on to you. So again, that's less money that you can put aside for a house. So there are different factors that, in contrast to house prices going down, might be making it more difficult for renters. So at the moment, with rates being quite expensive, to get the cheapest rates, you need to put down quite a high deposit to get these. So a lot of people, even though the house prices are falling, they might need to put more in terms of a deposit to get those lower rates, which mean it will be affordable. So in a way, it seems like maybe catch 22 for some people because before it was very expensive to buy. If house prices fall, it may be cheaper, but they might have to put more in to get those cheap rates. So it's not so clear cut. So for many, house price falls aren't necessarily bad news, but there's extra factors as well that they've definitely got to consider um, and it might not be time to celebrate just yet for a lot of young people.